Yo guys, welcome back to another video of Young Legend. Hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video as the wish hashtag Zoe Zoe Love. Young Legend. In today's video, we are going to talk about Dungeon Quest. So Dungeon Quest has recently dropped a update on, on the game itself. It took them long enough to drop the update. Dungeon Quest was dry and dry as can be. But overall, in my opinion, they did a really good job on this update. In the last video that I posted about Dungeon Quest, I explained my flaws and where Dungeon Quest, Dungeon Quest has become and where, where they are right now. But right now, I've experienced myself with the content itself. And all I can say is that it's, it's good. It's it's good. It's a it's a solid, you know, it's a solid eight point solid eight or a seven point five you could say. And I can't complain. Only thing what I can complain is about the inventory space. Uh the boss rate the boss themselves in the uh in PC, um hardcore or nightmare, um they're pretty good. I love what they did. The mechanics of those bosses are lethal, and um, they're just lethal. They're just good. Usually, you get a boss with a few mechanics, and that's it. But these bosses have some annoying encounters, which you need to deal deal about. And if you if you get it done, you know you're good to go. So I did a couple of runs. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm one level 166. I think the last time that y'all saw me was level 50 plus. I guess. Close to 160. And it's a great experience. I have I've played the game a lot these past couple of days. After work, came late night, did a couple of streams here and there, also on the mobile phone if y'all been in here. And it's just like it's been it's been again for me that I kind of fell in love again with Dungeon Quest. And the love was gone on Dungeon Quest. I'm not going to lie. That's why y'all didn't see content on Dungeon Quest at all. But that's what I said. I already said that Dungeon Quest needs more, uh, needs more love. So I, I don't know how long it takes for the Dungeon Quest developers to make a dungeon and make a dungeon to progress good and succeed good with the loot, everything, whatever they do. But they have to drop like two or three dungeons back to back so we as a Dungeon Quest community can like um, run more stuff and also can make more content and get more loot. And um, in my opinion, what I think about what they can put inside the game is that they can put like, like they can put like gear sets, right? They can put like gear sets and gear sets that are like, um, you know, doable you know what i mean like they're like you can like let's 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 just say you have like a warrior right a warrior has like a gear set that's probably like proc or something you know what i mean like proc so let's just say that a warrior uh destroys let's say 10 mobs and then he gets like heal he health over time or so or he gets like a, a, a damage buff or something in between right as for a mage maybe some burning effect or something that it makes it more spicy you know what i mean so i don't know if they can do that but i think that would be a very very great thing to do so i don't know like again i don't know if they have the knowledge to to put that in the game or make that a thing but I think a lot of players are going to love that. Let's just assume that they put that gear piece like golden, golden gear or golden weapon or golden uh, gear set with a bonus set on it. You know what I mean? And if they do that, it's going to be like, whoa, people are going people gonna to make sure that they like, you know, grind for that set. You know what I mean? I would grind for that set. I, I would. You, I think you would too. 
if you get like a proc set that is just extremely viable you can level it up and it does a couple of good stuff i think you would grind for it i would grind for it because it has proc stings and then you will go after it and then it has variety of uh, green blue and uh, golden which there are sets that are hard to get but the drop rate from golden is rare you could say and if you get it you're one of the one of the top top players that would have that set you could say that's what i think about that's one thing that i think about with the inventory space they 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 just hurt me with that if y'all been here on the dungeon quest journey since i was a lower level and stuff like that y'all know i'm a collector of a lot of abilities gear sets um whatever gear it is a bunch of levels i had everything purpled i had everything but as soon as i came into the update i had to delete or sell a lot of stuff and it wasn't fun to do but i had no choice because it's capped to 300 which is i think nobody asked for that i don't think you asked for that for cap it to 300 but they did so it kind of it kind of hurts me when I when I saw that, like it it really did, uh, because you you just cannot grind. You can still grind though, but if you have an empty inventory space, yes. But if you have an inventory space like me, it's kind of hard. So and right now we are in the new dungeon. It's called VC or Volcano. We call it VC, um, both Volcano. And I want to show you guys how to run this dungeon. I'm here with a couple of players, a couple of new viewers or subscribers on the YouTube channel. Welcome in. Shout out to D Kingo. Shout out to the Holy Duck or Duck. Shout out to Curly 400, Super Super Dog 5, Super Hunt 508, and Heavy Go tripling in. All right. And of course, me, Young Legend. Bing, bing. All right. So, um,. Yeah, we're going to run the dungeon. I hope y'all will learn from this. I'm going to speak over it so y'all can understand how to run the dungeon. Be calm. It's just really easy. I know it's when you're new to the dungeon, it's going to be a little bit weird. But if you get used to it, you're going to see he is right. So I'm going to show you guys maybe what you don't see yet, but what I saw while doing it. All right, let's get into it. So I will click on the button. I will start it up. So, the first two, uh, the first two mobs, uh, first ray is just one shot. They're just one shotable. Uh, the timer of these abilities, they're just not good in my opinion. It should be two or three seconds off, but you can still do it. All right, you can still do it. In the end, uh, you come in here, the last mobs, you one shot them, and boom, that's it. You will come across this boss. It's basically the easiest. If you do the solo, it's it's a cakewalk. With a few people, it's a little bit harder. It's a Asian lava mage. You just what he does, he he do the stripes here, and then he puts an alpha AOE, and he puts up a ball. So uh, what I came across too is that these balls, they will do a line up. So what you what you can do is that you can nuke them out, so you can only uh, be care of these balls. And then after the three second delay, he would put that thing again. So it's basically like an extra mob hindering you. That's basically what it is. So this thing is hitting you. So if you don't want to die, you could say you can just always one shot this thing and then you are clear minded. So your, your allies will, will, will not get like, you know, stressed out over a, a thing that's just doing some decent damage. But you can leave it alone and just focus on the boss. And nuke it out it's just gonna be there but you don't have to pay attention the second row is these mobs are uh for me they are two shot i need to two shot them so i always back pedal back pedal out until my cube goes up again and then nuke them out and then rinse and repeat basically the same thing as what we already did but they're a little bit they're a little bit stronger now so you'll clear out this path uh as you go uh you have basically the, the yellow ones are mages and the green ones are, you can say, warriors. What they only do is that they put up a little AOE thing on the ground. And then they stuck you. And when they stuck you, you just stuck for these mages to actually, yeah, hit you with it, you could say. And then you get destroyed. 
So they're the the, the Warriors not, not not doing anything is the mages because the other one just holds you in place. It damages you a little bit, it holds you in place, but that's it. The other one, they do the damage. Like they throw throw these balls and they do lethal damage. This guy right here, he's gonna hold you in place. So these AoE, so these mages will these guys right here, they they are doing the damage. These guys are just easy. You just you can just walk and it's not gonna be any anything but what i like to do is that i like to group these guys up when i'm solo and then one shot them as i go so you can see now they all got hit here you can also debate them so they can stop in place so you can still one shot them as you saw what i did so i debated them so they use their ability so they the other guys are walking in one group and then you one shot them this one right here you gotta watch out for the first aoe it's gonna put up a boulder as you can see this guy's gonna walk in and he's gonna put up one aoe right there and then you walk and then you go in you're gonna see he's putting up these red things you gotta watch out for those and watch out for these things and then rinse and repeat is gonna do that like again the stripes you watch out onto the side and rinse and repeat you try to watch out for the bigger boulders again you stand on the side one shot you're gonna go to the side and you're not getting hit again on the side you're hitting him you go again watch out for the stripes and that's it you see that that was a little bit delayed there i got hit because of the delay but still i got it done and then rinse and repeat you do that till he's dead that's it don't panic don't panic we see stripe like look at death you go there boom no hit you see that my my target didn't get hit or my character and then boom he's out of there my healers are doing a great job but that's how you destroy this ball he's really easy right now it's probably maybe chaotic because you see a lot of things going on but he is really, really easy. All you have to do is just look at the patterns, what he's doing, and then you're, you're not going to get hit by him. You're not going to get hit. Even though if you have low DPS or high DPS, all you have to do is focus your momentum with, the, with, your, with, your, um, with your ability so you can always move fast. That's it. And always strafe on the side when he's going to use the boulder. That's it. You are not going to get hit. I promise you, you're not going to get hit. If you got a DPS or not, you're, you will not get hit. If you do it correctly anyways move on to this part you cl close up here i think i'm dead here probably yes i'm dead here because my healers didn't pay attention here and that happens when when you healer are not on point but what i'll try to say here is that we're going to do it over what i tried to say is that on the point here you go to the side and do i got a good healer no we got all healers and they were sleeping on the job so basically i will do it in a solo run and show you guys the speed what i mean with uh the thing right now it's very slow so i will show you guys in a solo run how i do it and why i do it like that because when you are in a group and your group is not fully extended or aware of what you're doing you're gonna get destroyed which everybody does so i will show you guys in a solo match how fast i i do this like literally how fast it runs if you are solo it by yourself so i'm gonna queue up for the dungeon and um put up volcano uh hardcore insane doesn't really matter you create and boom you start this is this is how it's gonna go this is how it's gonna go here you go so i will cut this part a little bit off right but here is how you how you do it you run in as in you run in as a mage or a warrior the first boss he's gonna be three tap the gear I'm running is the last extended gear, fully extended golden weapon. If you are wondering what am I running, uh, this is how I run. Hulk, Lava King Mage, Lava King Mage with the Lava King Spell Dagger. Skill points 135, stamina 30. So you queue up right here, uh, uh, HP 31, 31 uh, you can see that. And then you walk up and this is how you do it. This is, this, this is the run that I will show you guys. So the first run, you run here, you run it here and then you... Hit this, hit this target. You got four seconds on your ability. So what do you do? You just strafe here. Just wait for a second. Then it comes back on. Boom. You one-shot that. Right? Fully extended. You go again. Wait for your Achilles on 05. Then you go there. So you're going to make sure that you make it. And then one-shot them. This boss again. This Lava. This Lava. While, while now you're so low with. He's, gonna, he's not going to do a lot of AoE. Because you're, all, you're alone. So what do you do? You strafe to the side. Hit him once right he's gonna he's gonna use this then you go back to the side because he's gonna use that you straight once back and hit him right that's one one hit just one hit to go why i got hit there because i was straving back and then he's hit and then boom and it also it lagged a little bit over there this part is the same thing they're one shotable right they're one shotable 
boom you still you walk in rinse and repeat that's basically it rinse and repeat you walk in give him the one punch boom they're out of there again rinse and repeat one shot you go in speed boost you're out of there right now you can see i got touched by these other boss i will show you that i will not heal and i will still destroy this boss right i will still destroy the boss so i walk in i wait till my cooldown wears off, wears on and here i go so i walk in i boost up and shot him i wait what he is doing and one shot again i go to the side hit him once go to the side again right there i, I still didn't get heal anything at one shot and boom he's offline you see what i mean very very easy i told you guys right there it is easy Right there, we go into the back, slow down, and triple in. And you rinse and repeat. Do what you need to do. What I, what I told you right there, you go into the side, what, I, what didn't work, and then use your Q so you can one-shot them all at one place. But what happened, one of my teammates went to the other side, so they came to me. That's why they jammed me, and then I got destroyed right there. But that's not what we hear about. That's what you do. You can heal at the last boss. All right, now it's basically what you want. So that's what you do. Then you go into the side, rinse and repeat, clear this boss out here. These are the last mobs of the boss. So that's why on the second boss, a lot of people panic, but you don't have to panic. You only have to strafe to the left to the side and make sure that you're watching the patterns, what he's doing. That's it. So I will, because I'm alone. I will heal here one time because he, this boss, Lava King, sometimes he's, he lags a little bit or has broken damage, you could say. Sometimes stuff happens to him. Um, so if you have seen that or um, yeah, you see, it, it just lagged a little bit. So you go to the, you straight to the side here. Make sure you hear, make sure you hit him once and then you go back. He hit me though. Make sure that you try to, uh, he's going to hit me here. Right? He's going to hit me here. You make sure you go to the side. But this is what I mean. Like, if I die here, it's because um, I think I'm going to die here. Oh, I'm not. So, I almost died there. The reason why I almost died there is because this boss is not annoying. What's annoying is, is the, the um, placement where you need to go. Because what I do, I come inside and I try to hit him fully hit. So he's three tap, right? But because he is the, that the placement, it's hold on where you are going. So let's say you go far away to the, you go too close to the, to the right side. He's going to put it all the way to the left. And before you go there, he's going to slice you. And maybe you get hit, maybe not. And then you're still going to get hit by the timer. So what I recommend you to do, stay in the middle, right? Don't attack him yet if you don't have to. But I want to attack him, but you don't. Stay in the middle and then wait till he does this axe. Walk like a mi in the middle. So you're in the middle. So now the game thinks, where are you going, right? So they, the placement doesn't know where you go. So it's nine, nine times out of 10, they're going to put it very close to you. Nine times out of 10. But if you, like me, go to, all the way to the right, and try to punch him into the right they are going to put that thing all the way to the to the left side so you have to go all the way to there and you got nine times out of ten you get destroyed or if you you count you can counter like me you stay alive but sometimes i get destroyed too but you got to be lucky with that right so that is the bosses so i hope you guys have learned from this uh is it easy yes is it hard to remember sometimes because People panic if they, there's too many stuff going on. They panic. But you got to be calm. And then when you see it, you're going to be okay. That's basically it. So if you guys have questions, make sure you leave a like on the stream. Comment down below what you guys think that is best. And one tip I can give you. If you cannot run the dungeon yourself on hardcore, do it without hardcore. Insane without hardcore. Nightmare without hardcore. It doesn't matter if you die over and over again. Learn from it. 
get the XP. When you're ready, you're ready. And if you're not ready for the specific dungeon you at, make sure you go two dungeons or maybe three dungeons below yourself. It doesn't hurt. What hurts? Getting destroyed over and over again and not able to finish the dungeon. All right? It's your boy, Young Legend. As always, hashtag Zoe Zoe Love. See you guys soon, friends. Peace.